So we're going to speak a little bit about prayer. Um, I think it's a very, very important topic. Uh, I think a lot of people know what prayer is. Some people are still figuring out what prayer is. And I think this conversation is for us to just shine a little bit of light on that. Um, and the fact that as a church, we are going to go on this uh, seven-day prayer week, which I think is really incredible. Yeah. And just chat a little bit around, you know, why are we going on this seven-day prayer week? What are some of the topics that we're going to speak about? And why is it important for me as an individual watching this right now uh, to join and be part of that? And how can I join and be part of that? Let's jump into a little bit of what this looks like. Yeah. What is prayer? What a great question. Uh, I think for me uh, this year, if I, I want to anchor it in, anchor in a thought to, around our vision, and our vision has been around move this year, and really the story of Joshua and how the people of God moved from uh, the desert to destiny. And uh, in many respects, it's, it's, it has personal application to the people that move in the Old Testament to us as new believers or as believers in the new covenant. And so one of the gifts that God's given us is this ability to communicate with them and have a conversation with them. Mm. And I think um, as we see the story of Joshua, it was the key to their success or the key to the confidence they had or the identity they formed was found in their conversation with God. And God's desire was always to be with his people right from the beginning. We see it in Genesis in the garden. Mm. We see it through Exodus and through the story of Joshua. And then we see it even more beautifully through a relationship through Jesus. And so like one of the Maverick City songs, I love that, just talking to Jesus. Come on. And I think uh, we can all talk in different ways. You know, it's a, it's a conversation. So for some, it's, it might sound different. It might feel different. But in essence, right at the heart of it is this invitation from God, our Heavenly Father, to talk to Him. And so I think for me, it's a powerful time because both corporately as we gather, I think God does something beautiful in that. We get to hear what God's saying to His church. Yeah. But then on the other side, it's something so personal that he whispers into the depths of our hearts. Yeah. And uh, as we've seen over these last couple of weeks, I feel and I sense that the king is passing through the camp. And just as Joshua would send the priests through the camp, I feel like prayer is one of those initiators. It just keeps, we keep prayerfully considering what that might mean for ourselves. Yeah. And anytime we come into God's presence, he's going to send us out to make a difference wherever we go. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, I don't know, that's a big, big, big answer for a small <laughs> question. That's brilliant. Yeah, that's great. Different. I think what's amazing is like prayer often we feel like it's also us just speaking and it's us just like, God, God, like help, help, or God, God, please do this. But actually God often wants to speak to us yeah. in prayer. And I'm really excited about the week coming ahead. I, I feel like God really wants to speak to us as his mm. church um, and we're able to kind of hear from him. And when putting a whole week aside and going, God, we are here for you. Yeah. We're here just to be in your presence and to pray and to speak to you um, would you speak to us yeah. type of thing? And I, I read this quote, but I'm going to paraphrase it. But basically, this guy was saying, when God wants to do a mighty thing, he often sets us, his people up in prayer. Because sure. I guess like in any relationship, if you want to do something, you want to communicate about it. So it makes sense that we pray yeah. and we talk to God and he talks back to us and he sets his people up for that thing that he wants to do in his church, which obviously is around the, the vision of move and mm, like yeah. whatever that looks personally or corporately, yeah. it's just really exciting. So, yeah. yeah, that's really incredible. What stirred in our hearts to say, let's put a, an entire week aside and let's pray and invite people along the journey? Yeah, I think it's, it's really powerful uh, what we confess is really important for us. Um, it's important for us to speak God's word in our worlds because what we speak shapes the world we live in. And in, in Joshua, um, in the scripture, it actually says to keep the law on your lips, mm. which actually means to, to speak it, like actually speak it. Um, and I feel like putting a whole week aside to speak God's word and to prophesy like, a, a better future and, and just to prophesy his word is really going to get our hearts ready for a move mm -hmm. of God and what he wants to do. Um, and, it, and it carries on to meditate on it day and night. Yes. I love that thought. It's, you speak it, but then it's, when you speak it, it starts to sink in your heart. Like, yeah. And you're able to meditate on that word. And the more you speak it and the more you think about something, the more it's going to become clear uh, in your mind. Yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, so that's, I think, why it's so important 
to to speak and to put a whole week aside yeah. in yeah. prayer. Yeah, I, th- I think for me, it's uh, I, I love that thought just around speaking it, but I also I remind where two or three gathered in my name, there I am. Mm. And so I think uh, the amazing thing about a prayer week is just God presencing Himself with His people, and I think that's enough. You know, when you, we know, and when we pray, and it might be a big prayer, small prayer, whatever it looks like, um, and. I think for us, the heart behind it is to get everyone together. There's this, there's this thought around gathering. You know, I think when the early church meet together, something happens. You know, someone brings a word, someone encourages someone, someone sings a song, someone prays a prayer of faith. And, and God is amongst us and in us and through us. And so I think for me, uh, that's something powerfully happens as we, as we learned out the last while when we meet together. Mm. And uh, whether we pray in our small groups or we pray, choosing to pray here on campus for a week, uh, we can entrust in those moments to really sense and feel God's presence with us. Yeah, that's incredible. And so this prayer week that's coming up, um, what are maybe some of the, the topics that God's put on our hearts as a church? Like what are the, what are the different nights going to look like and what are we going to be praying into specifically? I think uh, what we've sort of the feeling going into this week is that this, this word in Joshua 3 verse 5 where it says, we, we, uh, Joshua says to the people, consecrate yourselves for the God is going to do wonders amongst you tomorrow. And I said that thought, that thing around consecrate and to consecrate is to set ourselves apart um, and uh, really to not, it's, it's, it's in repentance and holiness. It's almost like God, we're setting our hearts on you. We're looking at you. And I think uh, over that week, that, that's what it looked like. And so we've thought that really good to consecrate our hearts that would be one of the first night. It's a personal application. What does that mean for me and my faith and my journey? And then and consecrate our families and then consecrate the city, this North Coast, and then consecrate our nation, South Africa. And so it's, a, it's, a, it's an inward to outward expression. And we're going to go sort of stagger it during the week. And so we're encouraging everyone actually is invited, um, no matter what. And I think in essence, in any of those prayer meetings, whatever the topic might be, I think God's going to speak to us and, um, and we're going to have the ability to center it on something. But I know in those moments it can go in different directions, but yeah. we want to anchor it in some thoughts. And yeah. so um, I think like for our city, we've got um, Wonderland staff are coming to join us for that. Uh, for our nation, we've got the Link Foundation team that are coming. Uh, and so I would encourage people, even if you're leading small groups, bring a small group for that evening. Yeah. And just yeah. choose an evening, come be a part of it, come and pray. Um, you know, the big thought we've been having is what's your next best step? And maybe for some people, they've never been part of a prayer meeting. This could be your next best step. Yeah. And, uh, you know, God honors faith. So whenever we step into a room we haven't gone before, watch what he does in that space. That's really exciting. Last question that I have for you guys is uh, what do you hope that you will see on the back end of this? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, I think for me it was is a real sensitivity to God's presence, yes. that people would know him and that come out of the back end of this week and be so personal. Yeah. And, uh, and also for us corporately, there would be a real, real confirmation of what we've been thinking, but God's just, he's just layering that and he's, he's leading his people. And I think, um, yeah, just a sensitivity to him. I think when we walk with a sensitivity, a consecration in our hearts, uh, the promise is that tomorrow he will do wonders amongst us. And so our, our job description is consecrate. Yeah. His is he'll take care of tomorrow yeah. and he'll bring the wonders. So we can be expect to see his wonders. We can expect to see people being healed. We can expect to see salvation. We can ex- we expect to be transformed from the inside. We can expect to see people touched by God in, in miraculous ways. And so just like the people of Israel, they crossed the Jordan. That was a miracle. He pushed back the waters. We can expect to see the devil being dispossessed. We can expect to see uh, waters being pushed back. We can expect to see people's past being forgiven. We can expect to see people step into a new promised land. And I think... Uh, we can expect to see faith rise in our hearts and not to pray like, hey, God, bless my supper. No, Lord, change my neighborhood, yeah. change my street, change my community, love my neighbor, um, reach the people in my business. Um, let my business glorify you. Uh, let my life glorify you. Um, put our hearts on fire, God, because we're hungry for you. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think for me, that's a big thing. It's like, I know that's J.D. It's hard too, is that we just, there's this inward hunger for more of God. God, we're hungry for you. And God comes where, he, where, where he's wanted. And so we, we want to be a church which just goes, we're opening, we're opening our hearts and hands to you. Let heaven come down because we love you, God, because you're more beautiful than we could ever imagine. 
And when he comes close, everything changes. So please come close, God. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I guess it's that, that cry, like, mark us with your presence, God. Yeah. Yeah. Mark us with your presence. Like, I think of the story of Moses, he, and he asked the question, like, what's going to distinguish us between the rest of the world? And, uh, and it's his presence. Um, and Moses cries out, he's like, D I don't want to move any further. Mm. I don't want to go anywhere else unless I know your presence comes with me. Mm. So it's just that, that heart that we step into this prayer week mm -hmm. and into this year of move and going a little further. Like, God, just mark your people with this presence. So. Yeah. Man, this is all really exciting. I'm very excited for the prayer week. Yeah. And uh, I just come into agreement with everything that you guys said in terms of what we want to see on the back end of it. And really praying um, that a lot of people like put a little bit of time aside yeah. and prioritize this week and come every evening and pray earnestly yeah. into seeing what God wants to do in our church, in our lives individually, and also in the society and in Belito. Come on, I'm excited for it. Amen. Beautiful. Amen. Thanks, Gibbs. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks guys. Cheers. Cheers.